Hey guys, welcome to Kiev, Ukraine here. We are at the start of the finals for the third season. With eight, play eight players left with 30k prize pool, we'll be deciding who will be the champion. I'm feeling pretty confident going into Stockladder, but uh, I'm feeling more confident for Shanghai because I'll have more time to prepare. And um, usually, going to an event motivates me to prepare for the next event. So this Starlighter tournament is like the perfect uh, ramp, let's put it this way, uh, to help me prepare for Shanghai. I'll go full tryhard mode once I'm back. And uh, now here I brought the control lineup because I expect everybody to bring an aggro lineup, but it ended up everybody bring, brought a control lineup too. So maybe I should have brought a control anti-control over than a control anti-aggro. Let's see how he plays his control deck. Face. Oh, you're still there. <laughs> first thing I see. <laughs> uh, still, my first opponent is playing an aggro lineup, so I'm feeling pretty confident uh, in the match. And uh, this is a great setting for a tournament. We're having a lot of fun here. Um, they're treating us great, so uh, I'm really looking forward to play my games. And we're starting off with two players that you know and love. It's going to be Snowkiss and RDU facing off. That's enough for Kill Command to be lethal. And, and, and he's still like falling back on, right. on the health totals. Yeah, and he's, he's not setting up any sort of lethal. Exactly. He's not really pushing. He's, he's dead in three turns, basically. Right. That guarantee. He's just going to get hero power to death unless he's able to really you know, get on the offensive here. And, and that was the, the Kill, Kill Command. Command. And Snowkiss is going to defeat the anti-aggro lineup with her aggro lineup. To be fair, RDU played really aggressively as a control deck and he could punish him. He got punished times. a lot, yeah. Yeah, I'm not super happy with how I played. Could have definitely played better. Yeah, now it's gonna be very tough because she was my good matchup and the other two in the group are very good against me, so. If I don't go 0-2, I have to also hope she ideally loses and then I face her again. But yeah. now my chances to exit the group are way lower. But we'll see. That's, you know, I still have two matches. Yeah, so, still do, yeah. I'll try my best and see what happens. But you know, it's all good. All good. Nothing happened yet. Going back to the elimination match now between RDU and Oliver. That is fantastic. Yeah. That, that is one. actually bonkers when you think about it. Let them live and just go face and not really care about them, you know? Really? Yeah. I guess. He's, you're going for the fatigue strat on turn three. I like it. <laughs> I, I like it. This is ambitious, but at the same time, it might actually win the game. <laughs> Oh, that's oh huge. my god! The Aya is gone! It keeps those Nanotides alive. Yeah. Stone Hill Defender is another big one gone. Holy another moly. Another value generator taken away. I'm actually not sure if I would kill anything on this board. Oh, yeah, just let it ride. I would just armor up pass. Oh, me too, yeah. It's been working so far. 20 cards for RDU. Let's see the cards for Oliver. Hot Spring Garden. Okay, you can get along with Nine that. Nine cards left for Oliver. Holy smokes, these Nanotides are doing work. Three, zero. <laughs> Looks like going the right way, right? I mean, it's going for a lot, I think, so. One more series to go for him, then afterwards, rematch. Nope, GG. RDU is taking it 4 0. Yeah. Wow. One big unfavorite in the matchup. Yeah, unfavorite in the matchups, takes it 4 0, winning those control mirrors, showing why he's a pro player there, identifying situations where he's got to do something wacky like leave two mana tides alive the entire game still not perfect but way better i think i played like 90 percent of it correctly but like there were some turns that like I, I had like multiple game plans i don't know what to approach and i approached something and it ended up working well then it was like another crazy game where he went for something that I know from practice that is stupid. Like on paper, it seems really good to monetize against uh, any control deck, but like he double monetized. So I was in practice, I had the same situation and I was like just getting wrecked by people ju that, that, that just let the, the monetize through. So I was like, yeah, fuck so it, I'll just let practice. it. Hmm? So you knew from practice what to do? Yeah, I, I, I dirty ratted the monetize. Then, then he monetized again. 
And then I just let him on life for a 10 turns and I fatigue him. Hey. That is actually awesome. Nice, come on. Still could, have, still could have played better. Yes, he called. But he called way, play way, 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 way much. So. Where could I play better? Um, the, it was more the Pelden against Shaman, I guess. Snoke is going to be stepping into the arena against RDU. Gonna throw it up to the casters to get this one started. We played three eight eights. Not too bad. Pretty good turn. All right. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> that's that's gonna be GG. Yeah. Shaman really showing its dominance. Just seeing those devolves and uh, how hard he was patient with them and navigated them appropriately. Devolve male true portal just really yeah. tears apart aggro to it. Here, when it matters at the decider game, rather than taking the series. Yeah, well, I've also arrived. You had some mis you had quite some misplacements also around when? here and there. A little misplacement or poor misorder with going totems and this and there. But that's alright, man. You got it. Today I'll do my best. <clears throat> Alright, well you heard it from RDU, he's gonna do his best, he's flexing on camera right now, he's gonna go jump into his match, throw it up to the casters, and get it underway. I guess just going for a much, much better brawl, getting the Drake donated too. Well, that was, um, unlucky. And, six surviving for RDU, and well, <laughs> that attack not really paying off, but... Uh, things are not getting better here for RDU. Finally, first time he's really able to get shooting, but it's just he's just missing the two shots. Missing yep. two shots to get have the game close, and it comes down to I was not drawing the the taunting in the beginning. Yeah, it comes down to, to the quest that was just not activated in time, and PF getting the series here done. Such a close series, more than two hours, but taking the series four Whew. three. It was, it was all good. good. Yeah, you are. I can still do it. I'll play for my chance. I'm doing three in a row, right? I think so. So now Zarya plays, Zale plays Naria, let's say Zale wins. Then I play against Naria, let's say I win. And then they play, one goes to the winner back at final. Uh, actually, they take a good break, man. It was wait, a freaking. One goes to series. the grand final, and then one goes plays me. And then I, yeah, I hit win just three in a row. Just take a nice and get. Overall, it was a super. I think PF played really good. He played really strong. So, now I lost my first match, that means that uh, if I want to win the tournament I have to win three games in a row, three matches in a row, three best of sevens in a row to put it this way. Um, if I would have a better lineup against these guys I would feel more confident, but uh, my lineup is literally I'm favored against all three of them. So, now I have to kind of rely on uh, my endurance be being better than theirs. And um, one of the ways that I can win is um, just hoping that my opponents are gonna get tired before I do and they make some mistakes that are big enough to make up for their lineup being better than mine. It's uh, a really it's really an uphill battle between me, um, my level of energy and then using the decks against them with their level of energy and with their better decks. So like it's super complicated. I will definitely try to do my best and play my chances. I'm doing usually very well with uh, endurance. I'm. Uh, trying to train it constantly by streaming a lot of hours with very little if uh, any breaks at all. Uh, by going to tournaments like Dreamhack where you have to play seven rounds more or, of Swiss in the same day. This kind of um, events and uh, strategies make you a stronger person overall and I think that's uh, what you need to be a Hearthstone competitor. Now add to that the fact that uh, everything here is like a control meta, it's so tiring, so exhausting, like, whew, it's gonna be super difficult. But uh, I'll always play my best and try, try for every single percentage I have. So um, hopefully it will go my way. But it's, I'm really trying to think of a way to, to be able to not get fatigued in a situation where I have to win three best of sevens in a row, if I get to there. But I'll take it one best of seven by best of seven and we'll see from there how it goes. Next series, as you can see, it's going to be Nyria versus RDU. Nyria would actually keep those small 
Small value minions. Oh, oh my god, there we it go. pulls the Antonidas. That is just incredible. That means you can go for the evolved next 10 with another thing from below. Now, oh, look at that. Oh, second wow. time Rocketeer, oh. second time Cabal Trafficker. And those are nuts. Yeah, and also the taunt here, like just the bodies of all the minions and your <laughs> Rex as well. To <laughs> almost get there with the double fireball pickup. And that was what the rail was going for. Well, he can he can check if it's I for an I already, actually. Ah, well, he's not even checking. Well, he's checking, but just with the fireball, just hoping it's not there. Seeing the bad news, I for an I, and that means that Ardu takes the game and takes it out with the Paladin. <laughs> Long day, but awesome, and great to see uh, Ardu now advancing. Top three. Come on, too much series. He can do it. If I win this one, I'll be in the Grand Finals against uh, Zolay. And uh, he's the person that uh, I have the um, worst lineup against. Like he's the one I didn't, I don't really want to face. But uh, at least it's in the finals, and maybe he'll be tired. We're going to get this match underway. It's going to be RDU versus PF. Five additional damage doesn't really matter here, but now, and this really often happens. Like if the mage can win it, it is by just he actually burned him down from 28 lives. The only two damages was done was first by PF himself. And if Warrior doesn't kill power, how does he win? Well, now RDU completing the quest. Oh, oh if, if it's a Doomsayer. Yeah, the Doomsayer. Wow, that was... <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. He's actually attacking face and then going for the hero power. Putting himself at one. We have only seen one Consecration, right? What? How? It all just doesn't really matter. Yeah, that hunt plays run code a bit better, but I suppose it's nothing here. It doesn't matter here, and we saw it already coming. The equality criminal Drake here, and now, bro, are you after getting a little comic from BF there? He's getting the Pelden out, and he's taking the series. 4 2 victory for RDU going to the finals. One more. Mm. I thought that I, I for an eye would just catch you off guard. So no, 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 no. That was a, that was a, Although the 50 50 was, was close, right? Oh. Did you play with Zelay on the net? You did not, right? No. Okay. But I have very bad lineup versus him, so I have to just hope that he's in a very bad form. That's. That's exactly the same thing you could have said about every single match so far. Yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Right? I'm feeling fresh though, I'm pumped. I have adrenaline, I'll drink another coffee, I'm pumped. Ah, it's so bitter. Mm. Usually I, 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 like Ameri I like Americano, like just big. This is like just too small. This has been real long, like we are so late here. I'm casting already like for 10 hours. He has been playing for 10 hours, so one more game, one more. I, I really hope he can do it. Time for the final. Hammer oh and the my. Okay, that's it. Well, there's a second Vile Spine Slayer, but. But that's Spirit Echo. There's a Spirit Echo, right? So you get a Spirit Echo it and set it up. And a Tone Totem. It's not too bad either. Oh man, how do you like, no! No, in the final match point. And that is so weird. Now the Doom Hammer can start connecting them. And but I heal card. He's not going to have any way to get through the 10 10 once it comes back. This is going to be it. Face to, to push five towards the face. He's just going to concede though. We battled it out down to these two, and Zelay has taken it over RDU. Shouldn't have played the Giants there. I realized it after. I thought I was safe. I realized it after. I did because I had 10 cards in hand. Uh, I will lose the last one anyways there, so like there was like more important games in other parts. Ah, happens. Second place team. Bro. Wow, that was such a long game. Can be proud. Now you can. Uh, after that Warrior game, I don't know, my head was burning. There are so many like 
some games are super difficult. You have lo let things go, so they did that the same. So they also called it like, get one series where you got some series. It's alright, bro. Was a nice one, man. You're at, man. You're doing really well. You can be proud. Come on, second. It's this, Baha this Shanghai. Come on. Bahamas. <laughs> alright, yeah, Shanghai. Yeah. yeah, no, it's time to go back to practice. Yeah, but the two series you played before were really nice also. But you made it to the finals you won't expect with your lineup yeah. also. So you shall be just also really proud. Yeah, I need to go back to the drawing board and practice for Shanghai. And to get better, constantly trying to get better. It was a fine performance, but I want more for me. Ah!